I remember when I was a kid, I knew I wanted to work with animals. My mom sent me like a paper. I was 14 years old. I said, Dr. Maria Ceballos, doctor of veterinary medicine. So I knew that I wanted to be animal veterinarian. I ended up being animal scientist. I am originally from Colombia. I was going to apply only for veterinary medicine. However, my father told me like, ah, there is this career about animal science. Why don't you apply? And I was like, dad, I don't even know what that is, animal science. No, 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 no. But he bought the registration and gave it to me and said, apply. And I was like, okay, okay. So what happened is that I didn't pass to veterinary medicine and I did pass in animal science. So I have already spent two and a half years of my life doing that. I am super unhappy. I don't see myself as an animal scientist. Animal science in Colombia, you focus more on animal production. So how we produce better, how we can get more from the animals. However, I wasn't happy with that. At that time, in Colombia, we didn't have animal welfare in the curriculum. Any animal that is under captivity, that are under responsibility, the least thing that we can do is to give them a good quality of life, a good welfare. But I was so lucky that in the seventh semester of animal science, Ariel Tarazona, who I work right now, we collaborate, he entered at the university as professor of reproduction. He said like, hey Maria, there is this award about animal welfare. A team can apply and I would like you to be part of that team. We participate and we won, so we went to the United Kingdom to see farm with animal welfare. And I fell in love. I found myself. So I decided to go to Brazil and study in animal welfare. What makes me passionate today is finding strategies to improve the welfare of animals. I mean, I see a cow, for example, and I get in love and I just cannot stop looking at behavior. Being here at the University of Calgary, I am able to give my grain of sand to improve the welfare in Colombia. Being here opened me opportunities to do collaborations, to get resources from other places that are not only Colombia. If I have an invitation to go to Brazil or to Colombia to give a talk for collaboration, that is something that will always be a priority for me. The research that I am doing right now, one is with University of Antioquia, also called National University of Colombia. And this project aims to create music to use as an environmental enrichment. And we actually figured it out the harmony of the music influenced how pigs react. So consonant music generated positive emotions and dissonant music generates negative emotions. We actually identified that those animals that have this specific music had better welfare compared with those animals that did not receive. Human-animal interaction influences a lot the welfare of animals. A way to improve human-animal interaction is to do trainings that we can use during our farm conditions that improve that interaction. My intention always was to improve the welfare of animals, right? To teach students and to sensitize people about this. So my objective has not changed, the country has changed. So if I can change a little bit in my students to this awareness that is like all the things that I have done worked for me.